welcome back to my channel my name is Eliza and in today's video I'm going to share 50 crochet and knitting patterns that use mesh and lace stitches I wanted to do this video because it's summer it is the end of July right now so we have like another month and a half of summer left and at least where I live in California it gets hotter here in August and like mid-September. I'm also going to be traveling soon and so I've been thinking a lot about like summer knits and what I can make this summer, what I can make and wear when I'm on vacation or whatever, going to the beach. There are a couple patterns in here that I have on my list of things that I want to make. I'm torn between the skirt and the dress version of this pattern. I'll let you know which one it is when we get to it. There's also a pair of pants, a crochet pattern for a pair of pants that I really want to make and I have been looking for yarn when I go to the yarn stores, but I haven't found it yet. <laughs> so let's just jump right in. I have 50 plus patterns here and I've divided them up into sections that I think make sense. Tops, layers, so like things you would probably wear over something else, some bikinis, some bags, and some socks. I'm gonna start with the tops. These ones are short sleeve and sleeveless tops. Since these are mesh stitches, that means there's holes, basically. Some things are kind of see-through. I tried to find some that were more revealing and less revealing, depending on what your personal preference is. The first one I have here is called the Valerian Lace Top, and it's by June Lagoon. This designer has a lot of really cool mesh crochet patterns. This top here is, it's crochet, it's, it's, <laughs> I almost said it's knit. It's crochet and it uses DK weight yarn. It comes in sizes extra, extra small to extra, extra large. I thought the little cap sleeve on this was really cute. And it is definitely kind of a sexy top. I think if I wore a top like this or any of the like really open mesh stitches that are like meant to be worn with nothing underneath, I'd probably get like nipple pasties. <laughs> Just because I'm all for wearing see-through things, but I think when there are actual holes, I want a little bit of coverage. <laughs> Unless I'm like going to the beach but if I was like going to the club in the city, I would probably wear like nipple pasties under something like this. The next top is a, has a little bit more coverage. This is the Beach Ripple Top. This is a knitting pattern by Rhonda Yurza. Not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but all the patterns will be linked down below. The Beach Ripple Top is knit with Erin weight yarn. And this definitely has more coverage. You could totally just wear like a bra or like nothing under it. I think the stitch is really pretty and I think like depending on where you live you could totally wear this during other seasons too. This one's kind of in between the last two. It definitely has holes but it has some more coverage. This is the Linoa Mesh Top by Svetlana Volkova. This is a knitting pattern and it uses fingering weight yarn. I think this is also really versatile. Like you could probably wear this outside of the summer as well. Also like depending on what you knit it with. Like if you use a warmer yarn the warmer handed yarn versus like a cotton yarn. Another pattern with more coverage is called Kevit by Miju KP. This is a knitting pattern. It also uses fingering weight yarn. And this definitely has more coverage at the top of the body. Like it's actual like stockinette stitches at the top. And then it goes into this kind of like mesh or lace pattern. If you're like nervous about the mesh trend, this could definitely be like an easy top, an easy cute top with more coverage. The next pattern I have is Summer in a Box by Yulina Mara. Take my pronunciation with a grain of salt for all of these because I I could be wrong and I'm sorry if I'm wrong. This is another knitting pattern. It's kind of the opposite of what the last one was. The last one was like stocking it at the top of the body and then you go into the stitch at the bottom. Whereas this is like full coverage from the bust down and then just your shoulders have the mesh stitch. This is a knit with DK weight yarn and it looks really versatile. It looks like you could knit it longer or shorter. 
like this blue sample just has a little bit of the detailing at the trim whereas some of the example photos have a longer like textured rib or maybe that's just the mesh stitch at the bottom yeah i guess that's just the mesh stitch at the bottom but i love that it's called summer in a box <laughs> very relevant for this list of patterns the next one is the petal party crop by samantha Guerin. This is a knitting pattern, another one with lots of coverage, although the mesh does kind of go like right <laughs> through the apex. This is knit with light fingering weight yarn, and I think this could be another like really versatile pattern depending on what you knit it with. The suggested yarn for this pattern is a merino nylon four ply fingering, so that kind of sounds like a sock yarn, which is fun. Okay, we're slowly moving on to more open stitches and slightly more revealing <laughs> clothing. This is called the cropped boxy tee. This is another like versatile mesh sweater it's a knitting pattern and it's knit with worsted weight yarn this sample says it's knit in cotton but this totally looks like something you could knit with like a wool or a something a little bit warmer and like wear it during the fall and the winter <laughs> maybe not the winter <laughs> this is by quail studio and this one's free wait let me see if any of the other ones are free i'll let you know which patterns are free if i don't say it's free then you can just assume that it cost probably between like five and ten dollars kind of the standard price for knitting and crochet patterns okay the next one is the topaz tee this is by alexandra tavel of two of wands this is a crochet pattern and it's crocheted with dk weight yarn this one is super cute i think they're all pretty cute I like the styling of this one in the images it definitely looks like kind of a summer like cover-up or like it kind of looks like they're wearing a bikini or something under it. I don't know. Moving on to the Sea Breeze sweater vest by Park Williams. I think this is kind of cute because it's like, whenever I think of like a V-neck sweater vest like this, I always think of something that's more preppy or like kind of a classic look. So I like the contrast between the classic silhouette and the mesh stitch. Kind of a cool juxtaposition. <laughs> This one is also knit with DK weight yarn, so it probably knits up fairly quickly, although it is knit on pretty small needles, size US 5 and US 3. Okay, and then the last two patterns I have in this category are by James and Watts. If you're familiar with James and Watts, I'm sure you've seen the mesh patterns designed by them. They have amazing mesh patterns, and I have two in this category, and I think I have another one in another category. The first one is the Boatneck Batwing. This one I think just came out. This is a knitting pattern, and it's knit with fingering weight yarn, but I think most of the like mesh and lace stitches work up pretty quickly, even if they are in really fine yarns, because there are holes, <laughs> and like, from my own personal experience when knitting lace usually like the rows of lace or mesh are bigger because you're like making a hole so instead of having like a quarter inch row with a stockinette stitch your row might be like half an inch or even an inch depending on like how you do that mesh stitch does that make sense <laughs> This top is super cute. This person did a yellow one and they're wearing a orange bikini top underneath. I think that's so cute. I love like the mesh trend and wearing it over bikinis or just like la the layering aspect of the mesh. Okay, the next one I have it by James and Watts is the look at my holes top. This one looks like this one came out, what year is it? Two years ago. <laughs> This is another knitting pattern and it's knit with DK weight yarn, so a little bit bigger than the last one, so it probably knits up even quicker. It looks like you can totally style it with or without something underneath. And I actually like that this one has more built up trims, so although it is like something you could wear over a bikini, I think like the the built up like ribbing and the raglans kind of make it more like a top that you could wear just going out into real life outside of the beach. But it looks like maybe you can make it without some of those trims because one of the example photos, this person doesn't have any trims on their, look at my holes top. I like it when you can do different things with patterns. 
that's it for the sleeveless and short sleeve portion <laughs> now i'm going to move on to similar tops like this but with long sleeves so since we just left off on james and watts we'll just start off with the pure mesh pullover this is a knitting pattern it's knit with lace weight yarn and i actually made this one i tested this pattern when before it came out and i made this with like lace weight mohair but you could totally you could probably do it with like cotton or any other kind of lace weight yarn it did knit up really quickly and again this has the more built up trims that really make it feel like a top versus like a beach cover up i really love the the project images here and what people styled their pure mesh pullover with especially this one this person made like a bright blue one and they're wearing a black top underneath and I just think the contrast in that picture is so cool. The next one is the Helix Pullover by Jessie Mae Designs. This one is mesh but it has a little bit more coverage. <laughs> Not a ton of coverage but a little bit. This has more of like a vertical mesh stitch which is pretty cool. This is a knitting pattern and it's knit with sport weight yarn. And this one comes in a lot of sizes from extra small to 5x. This also looks like a it could be more of a transitional piece from like summer to fall since it does have a little bit more coverage in that stitch pattern with like the rows of maybe stuck in it i can't really tell <laughs> maybe stuck in it in between the lace oh yeah yeah stuck in it next one is a crochet pattern this is called the paris tunic and it's by doris chan made with sport weight yarn and it looks pretty simple although i really don't know anything about crochet <laughs> i like the kind of boat neck with this and i like that the sleeves are kind of flared i think this would also be really cute if you like crocheted this and then you just kept going and made it into a dress i think that would be really cute too <laughs> this is called a mesh tunic by nitka and it's a knitting pattern made with DK weight yarn. So it's like the knitting version of the last one. This one has raglan sleeves. It looks really simple. <laughs> the lace pattern looks really simple. I feel like I've done a stitch like this before. This one, since it's a tunic, I feel like this could be a really good like beach or pool cover up too, or bi bikini cover up. <laughs> and this one's actually pretty cheap. This pattern is only $3. Continuing on, okay, here we have a free pattern. This is a free knitting pattern. It's the Diagonal Mesh Pullover by Lion Brand Yarn. They make yarn. It's knit with Erin Weight yarn. Like it says in the name, it has a diagonal pattern, which is kind of cool. I feel like it's kind of hard to tell that the pattern is diagonal on the model shot, although there is something interesting happening with the sleeves where it looks like the seam is kind of like going down and around the arm. But the shot of the sweater like hanging in this tree looks really cool. And yeah, the sleeve, this like twisting around the sleeve is cool. I wonder if you like knit it in a funny way and then you seam it so it does that. The next three long sleeve patterns are by the same designer. I did already mention this designer, June Lagoon. The first one is the Estuary Mesh Long Sleeve. This is a crochet pattern with DK weight yarn and it has a, more of an open stitch with a boat neck. It looks like, well, I mean, I guess you could make it any length you want, but they have shots where it's kind of like at the waist and then a little bit longer. So I wonder if there are easy ways to like make adjustments to it. It also says in the pattern, it has optional Pico lacy edging. The next one is the Tide Pool Long Sleeve Crop Top, also by June Lagoon. I like that there, I like that the last one, the last one was called Estuary and this one's called Tide Pool and they're by Dune Lagoon. I think that's kind of cute. This is a super crop. <laughs> it's a crop long sleeve. It's very cropped, at least the sample is. Another fitted crochet style. And this one's also made with DK weight yarn as well as the next one, which is the Salt Marsh Mock Neck Top. So these three kind of go together because they're by the same designer. I like how sleek this one looks. I feel like you could wear this with trousers and it would be kind of like cool and fashion-y. <laughs> this one says it has instructions given for a crop length and two full length options with splits on the side. So it looks like there's a lot of things that you can do with this, but I like the neckline on this, like a short, a mock neck. The next category of things are dresses, pants, and skirts. 
The first couple patterns are from Josephine Deering Knit. These are three crochet patterns that are part of like the same collection, the Kraka collection. So the first one is the Kraka dress. I remember when this came out last year, I thought it was so cute and I hadn't tried experimenting with crochet yet, but I kind of wanted to try just so I could make something like this. In addition to the dress, they have the pants version. The pants, the like stitch on these pants, the holes are so big. I don't know that I would make these because the holes are so big, but they look pretty amazing in this full outfit with the Kraka top. <laughs> Like they would probably look pretty amazing together, like at a pool party or something. I think the top is really pretty. I would probably make the top and the dress, but I don't know, I for, I, for some reason, I don't think I'd make the pants. Although I do think they look really cool. <laughs> Moving on to the next designer. I have four patterns from the designer Lip Pull. Lip Pull has two skirt patterns. The one that I wanna make is the lime skirt. And I actually bought yarn to make this last year and I never did it but I've been thinking about it like all year long. So I'm hoping that this summer is the summer that I make the lime skirt. This is a knitting pattern. It's knit with, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't say the weight on here, but I think it's kind of like a fingering weight or a probably like between fingering and sport weight. I forget what I got, but the like suggested yarn was a yarn from France. And so like I, <laughs> this was last year, I was in a yarn store like looking up this yarn and trying to find it and I did end up buying yarn which I think was kind of a fingering weight yarn. It's knit with pretty small needles two and a half four and eight. I like that they're wearing it just like out on the street in these photos. I think I would do that. I don't know that I would do it like in California but for some reason I feel like like I'll be in New York in September and I feel like I would do that like in New York City. Maybe because people just wear cooler stuff in New York City or because it's gonna be hot in New York City. So like you might as well wear something like this. Another skirt pattern Lip Pull has is the cloud skirt. This one says it's knit with fingering weight yarn. Looks like it has a different stitch. I can't tell if it has two different stitches. Like in the photos, I can't tell if the colored stitches are different from the brown stitches or if it's just the color that's kind of making an illusion. It sounds pretty simple. They kind of describe how the skirt is knit in the description of the pattern. It also seems like they suggest knitting it with leftover yarn, which is cool. This would be a cool thing to knit with leftover sock yarn because it's made with fingering weight yarn. That would be cool. In addition to those two skirts, Lip Pull also has a pair of pants. The pants are called the orange trousers and I think the stitch is the same as the lime skirt stitch. I love the orange sample. And I was definitely torn between whether I wanted to make the skirt or the pants. I kind of wanted to make both, but then I ended up finding another pants pattern, which I will share in a moment. This is knit with sport weight yarn, so a little bit bigger than fingering weight. So it might knit up a little faster. Oh, I wonder if that means the lime skirt is knit with sport weight yarn. <laughs> the last pattern by Lip Pull is the apple dress. This one is knit with light fingering weight yarn. This looks like it has two different stitches. I wonder if it's like the stitch from the cloud skirt and the stitch from the lime skirt. So like the, the stitch from the lime skirt as the skirt of the dress and then the stitch from the cloud skirt as the top of the dress. That's kind of what it looks like. And then it has this nice like chunky neckband. Pretty cute. I think they're all so cute. I want to make all of them. And then the pants that I was just talking about that I want to make. These are the Fernie pants by Jess's Root Knots. These are crochet pants made with fingering weight yarn. I think these are so cute. I like that they're mesh and obviously see-through, but they're not like so see-through. Like I think I would wear these pants as regular pants during the summer, like out in the city but maybe it's also like the color scheme of these photos. I like that they did a neutral color. So they just like look like something you could wear all the time. <laughs> I kind of want to make them in black and I've been looking for yarn in yarn stores, but I just like haven't committed yet because the minimum amount of yarn required is 1100 yards. So I'm like trying to find a, a cost-friendly yarn for this, especially since I don't have a lot of crochet experience. And then my friend who does crochet said that this is probably a pretty easy stitch for a beginner. That gave me some more confidence in doing this. <laughs> the last dress I have in this category is a pattern that I found while searching around on Ravelry. This is the Beachy Keen cover-up by Bernat Design Studio. It's a free pattern. 
It's a crochet pattern and it's made with bulky weight yarn. It probably works up pretty quickly. And this looks like a great like throw on thing for going to the beach or the pool or something. And it comes in sizes extra small to 5X. That's like the only information written on this page. <laughs> but that's good information. The next category is bikinis and bodysuits. While I was searching mesh on Ravelry, I found June Lagoon's Ravelry page and they have so many sexy mesh things. Maybe they're bikinis, maybe it's lingerie. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it could be either. I think they're so cool. I definitely want to make some of these. From this category, I took a couple things from June Lagoon's page and then I have another top from a different designer. So from June Lagoons, the first one is the Uni Mesh Bralette. This is a crochet pattern made with DK weight yarn. This link is just for the bralette, but I'll link their whole page because there's like tons of like bikinis and bodysuits and lingerie on it, which I think is also cool. I love the stitch that this is in. I like that it's like a pretty simple stitch. I feel like I can be kind of picky when it comes to like what kind of crochet projects I want to do and I really like the way this stitch looks. I think I would probably make this but I might wear it more as like lingerie than a bikini <laughs> because I worry about <laughs> holes, <laughs> large holes in my bikini. <laughs> the next one I wanted to mention was the Datura Lace Bodysuit by June Lagoon. This is also crocheted with DK weight yarn. Again, probably more like lingerie than a bathing suit, but I like the silhouette. I like the high cut leg and it looks like it has a pretty low back. So it's just kind of like a sexy bodysuit. The last pattern I wanted to mention is the scallop mesh bandeau top. I'm seeing now this one is in the category of intimate apparel and bra. This one is also crocheted with DK weight yarn. Okay, I was thinking about what the bottoms are like on this and I'm seeing that there is a picture on the page and you can see that the bottom has like more coverage than the, the stitch on the rest of the underwear. So that's good to know if you did want to wear these to the beach. I mean you can wear whatever you want to the beach. I guess it just depends on what beach you're going to or where you live maybe. <laughs> I think the bandeau is really cute. Like I think this would be cute as a top like if you made it a little bit longer into a tube top I would totally wear something like that. Okay and then the last bikini that I found is like a true bikini top. It's called the If Bikini Top by Jess's Root Knots who also made the ferny pants that I mentioned earlier. This is just really cute. I like that this has the mesh stitch under the boob, kind of in the under boob area, and then it has a more of a solid little diamond shape for the upper portion of the top. It looks like it has a really long tie, so you can make an X across your back and like tie it around your waist to maybe like define your waist. This one is also crochet and it's made with fingering weight yarn. The next category of things are accessories, except they're just bags. And then one random thing that I found that I just had to include because it was like so random to me. <laughs> okay, I have five market bags to share. The first one is the Portofino bag set by Two of Wands. And this is a tote bag and then a little like water bottle purse thing. <laughs> I've never used a little water bottle holder like this, but I was thinking about it while I was looking at this pattern. And like, I guess if you were walking down the beach like going on a long walk down the beach and you just wanted to have your water bottle and like, I, I don't know, maybe it would be nice to put your water bottle like in a bag instead of carrying it. I don't know. <laughs> I like that it's two things. And I like these pictures, especially the ones with fruit. They have a picture with oranges and a picture with li uh, <laughs> limes, <laughs> no, <laughs> lemons. This is a crochet pattern and it's made with worsted weight yarn. The next one is called Bag You're It by Jana Trent. This is a knitting pattern knit with worsted weight yarn and this is a free Ravelry download. I like the like stockinette top of this, like the handle portion. I like the way that looks. This pattern also says that it has no seams, minimal yardage, and is stretchy. <laughs> Stretches to hold as much or more than a standard plastic grocery bag. Wow. And it's free. The next market bag is called June Go Green Market Bag by Suzetta Williams. This is a crochet pattern. It's made with worsted weight yarn. It looks like it has a round base at the bottom, like a round flat base. And in the description it says, can be made with or without using a CD in the base. <laughs> does that mean you, does that mean this bag has a CD in it or do you just use the CD to make that shape? That would be pretty interesting if like you put a CD in the bag to like hold the shape. 
I remember seeing videos on YouTube like a long time ago when people would do those like what's in my bag videos and I remember seeing this one where somebody had a Louis Vuitton whatever the like little duffel bag one is called the little duffel bag purse they had one of those and they like put this piece of cardboard in the bottom to like keep the shape of it so it would stay flat and it wouldn't like you know it wouldn't like lose its shape that's what this is reminding me of kind of smart another knitting pattern this one's called let's go shopping market bag by ava adore this is knitting <laughs> knitting pattern like i said knit with dk weight yarn this one has this cool like diagonal stitch and it has like really built up looks like garter stitch handles probably pretty simple and this is free we love free <laughs> We love free, but we also love to support the fiber arts community and pay for patterns that people write. And the last one I found is the reusable produce bag. I like that this was called a produce bag and not a market bag. So it's like specifically for taking to the grocery store and filling up with fruits and veggies. This is a crochet pattern made with sport weight yarn and it's also free. Again, I love the images with fruit. They also look really stretchy. They have so many lemons and oranges in these bags. And then the moment you've been waiting for it, the last pattern that I found that was random and I just felt like I needed to include it because when I searched mesh patterns, this came up and I was like, wow, that is a mesh pattern that I don't think I'll ever need to make, but I love that it exists and that maybe people need to make this for some reason. This is called the Fly Bonnet for Horses. It's a crochet pattern made with sport weight yarn. It's free. It's so cute. I don't know what it's for, but I love this picture of the black horse with the red one on because it kind of looks like devil horns. Also, this one with the blue bonnet. They're, these are so cute. What are these for? 131 people have made these. <laughs> this is so cool. Is it just cute or does it have a purpose? Let me know in the comments. We have two more categories to go. The first one are sock patterns. Woohoo! We love socks on this channel. And then the last one are more transitional weight sweaters still mesh stitches but maybe they're made with like wool or they're like they're having more of like a, a layering silhouette let's start with the socks though the first sock pattern i found is called summer breeze mesh socks by cheryl andrews this is a knitting pattern these are knit with fingering weight yarn this mesh stitch looks really simple i think like mesh socks are kind of like a novelty thing like you probably wouldn't wear mesh socks all the time but these ones look pretty wearable compared to some of the other ones I've seen. And they look pretty fun to make. I do like the way they look in the photos when they're flat. Like I know you have to make socks this way where it's like stuck in it at the bottom or else it, it's probably really uncomfortable. But I like the way it looks like broken in half with like half stuck in it, half mesh. And then it has like a nice textured heel flap. I think it might just be a slip stitch heel flop, pretty summer socks with a breezy mesh pattern around the ankle and on the top of the foot, a quick knit, it says. Good enough for me. The next sock pattern is called the Fishnet Anklets by Pearl Soho. This one is free. It's probably available on the Pearl Soho website. It's made with fingering weight yarn. I love the colors that they chose for these sample photos. And it's again, a diagonal mesh stitch. Must be like a pretty standard stitch, that diagonal mesh stitch. These ones, okay, I just said that most socks have stock in it on the bottom of the foot. These do not. I wonder how that feels on the bottom of your foot. I think I would make them anyway, because they're really cute. Oh, maybe you have to do that if it's like a diagonal pattern. Although I guess you could just stop working in that pattern and then start on the other side. <laughs> I don't know. But these are cute and the pattern is free. Oh, they're knit with size one and a half and size four. I wonder if you use size four just for the lace portion. I feel like I always do this when I make these videos. I like try to figure out how these things are made instead of just like clicking on the pattern, the free pattern. The next pair are called the Ice Pop Socks by the Crimson Stitchery. These are also made with fingering weight yarn. It looks like they come in two lengths. There's this really cute shorty sock and then there's like an ankle sock. These have like the vertical mesh and then on the back of the heel, there's this cool like twisting thing happening. I wonder if it's almost like a cable, like you're, lit <laughs> you're knitting in lace and then maybe you twist them together to get them to move. That's kind of cool. The next pair are called the Fishnet Socks by Knit Safari. These, <laughs> these are kind of like maybe the least 
functional of the socks, but I really love the way they look in this picture on the feet. They look pretty cool. I can't imagine that they would be that comfortable like in a sneaker, but why would you wear them with sneakers? This is another free pattern. And the description says, this is a super speedy and sparkly fishnet sock. Work toe up and without a heel. Oh, so it's like a tube sock. The lace is worked in a larger needle and forms a pretty spiral around the foot. It is really pretty. It makes me think of, wasn't there a trend a few years ago? Like pretty mesh socks, not like mesh like this, but like a fine mesh with like stars and sparkles and stuff on it. Wasn't that like a trend? I feel like I saw those at Free People or something <laughs> and I like wanted them, but I also like didn't have shoes that would work with those. Like you can't wear those with your Adidas superstars. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could, but I don't think I could pull it off. Okay, and then the last pattern I found for the sock category. Oh, these are crochet socks. This is a crochet pattern for socks and it's free, double win made with light fingering weight yarn. These are the Trico 94 fromage socks. Doesn't fromage mean cheese? I guess it doesn't matter because this says it's in English and Japanese. <laughs> oh, it means cheese in Japanese too. Okay, that makes sense because they do kind of like cheese. Or maybe it's like, um, maybe it's like cheese on the moon. Wait, why am I thinking of cheese on the moon? Oh, like holes. <laughs> like well, when Wallace and Gromit go to the moon, don't they eat cheese on the moon or something? It looks like in addition to just the yarn and the crochet hooks, you also need elastic reinforcement thread. I love the picture in the sandals, the yellow cheese socks in the sandals. It's the contrast. It's always the contrast for me. <laughs> Last grouping of patterns. These patterns, it's like a mix of things, but I thought that these could be kind of like a summer to fall winter type collection of patterns. The first one I found is called the Rhoda Sleeveless Top by Irene Lynn. This is a knitting pattern made with worsted weight yarn. It's a cute little vest with what looks like maybe a lace and cable knit pattern because we've got, so we got some twisting happening. It definitely has holes so it's kind of see-through but I feel like you could wear this with pretty much anything underneath because like although it has holes it's not that see-through. This one's like been in my favorites for a while on Ravelry. The next one I found is the Corin Cardigan by Rebecca Clow. This is another knitting pattern made with a worsted weight yarn. It looks like you can make it in short sleeve or long sleeve. And it's kind of like got the mesh thing going, but it looks like something you could wear year round. And it's knit with US sizes, needle sizes six and eight. So it probably knits up like fairly quickly, even though it's worsted weight yarn. I like the patterns where you can knit short sleeve or long sleeve. The next one is called Sweater Number 21 by My Favorite Things. This is lace weight yarn held with bulky weight yarn and it's knit with size 13 and size 8. So much larger tools than what we've seen in a lot of the other patterns. This definitely is like more of a fall winter design, but I love I love the contrast between the mesh stitch with like the cozy and bulky yarns. So it's like winter, but your sweater has holes in it. I think that's so cool. Another similar design is the Peekaboo Crop Cardigan by MJ's Off the Hook Designs. This is a crochet cardigan made with a worsted weight yarn. And this I feel like could be more of like a summer to fall transitional cardigan because it does have quite quite large holes. It definitely looks like more of a, a layering piece, like you'd wear it over a dress or a top. This can easily be modified to any length and it works up very quickly due to its open stitch. We love a quick project. At least I do. And I feel like everyone that I've ever talked to who crochets and knits likes a quick project. <laughs> like we all lose interest and just want to like cast on or start a new project. The next one is another crochet cardigan. This one's called Light Snow Oversized Cardigan. It's by Mama in a Stitch. It is made with super bulky yarn and it's free. Yay, free. I like the scale of this one. Like looking at the photos of the back, the scale of the stitch is like huge. It uses an 11.5 millimeter hook. I really don't know anything about crochet. Is that a really large hook? <laughs> Letter P, let me look it up. 11.5 millimeter 
crochet hook. I can't tell the scale on the internet. I need to see it in a hand. And then the last two are from Spectacle Strick. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to say that last year when I made some of their knitting patterns. It's the two Erica sweaters. So the first one is the Erica slipover, which is a little vest that you tie on the side. I did make this last year, but I made it with superwash merino and it got like really warped for some reason. It was a really easy stitch. Yeah, but I just like, I don't know, I messed mine up somehow. This is a knitting pattern. It's made with DK weight yarn. There's a jumper version, the Mega Erica jumper, also made with DK weight yarn. I love the idea of doing this in like a cozy yarn. It's kind of similar to the My Favorite Things sweater number 21. The stitch is definitely different and like the trims look totally different, but same vibe, if that makes sense. Like I like the idea of this in a cozy yarn, the like sweater with holes in a warm cozy yarn for winter. <laughs> That's it for the patterns. Let me know what you're gonna make, if you're gonna make any of these. I definitely wanna make the lime skirt and the ferny pants. Those are my two like summer mesh things that I definitely wanna make. But now I kinda wanna make some of these crochet bras and underwear and bodysuits. I think they're kinda cool. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, bye.